Oh, 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 Silver Topaz, congrats. Oh, right. yeah, boy. Yeah, fishing, he's like right next to me. He's uh -huh. running like, a, he's running like full speed. Oh, yeah. I was like, did War Angel start? Hey guys, you know, I'm not here. Um, this is gonna be my fishing guide. I will try to share as much as possible, but before we even start sharing information, I, I would like to start on why should people fish on Mortal Line 2 to begin with. So, the first uh, and foremost reason is if you like fishing on one of the video games, if I, you will, I think you would like a lot fishing here if you like fishing on other video games, because I thought you have some shortcomings and limitations, uh, the system is super deep and super enjoyable like the more you discover the more you engage with it the more rewarding it feels if you need to unwind and take a breather from other system in the game if you want to take advantage of that time like let's say you have 20 minutes before a raid and you are already online and you don't know what to do alone or you, you, you guys just wipe and then it got cancelled or whatever and, and then you have an hour to, to kill and nothing to do alone stuff like that if you want a source of in income or crafting materials this part can be tricky because it was so good at, at the beginning of the game that it was heavily nerfed time and time again but the vast majority of the nerf were focused on butchering meat for gold or just fishing the fish, uh, butchering them and selling the meat to the vendor but there is plenty of other stuff to uh, uh, gain wealth with uh, or, or crafting materials like just a, a player fishing by himself can feed a, a bunch of people in no time like from kill scales to um, granite scales, black weight scales, these, these are more lightweight armors. And then you have Rectal and uh, Heavy Carapace for, from Turtles to um, more footy oriented armor sets. It's super useful to have, let's say you have a stronghold near, near a body of water, but you don't have. Um, any source of these raw materials to craft the basic armors below steel level. So this is, in, is super important for stuff like that. You can still make a lot of money like fishing for example for for calfish. If you if, if you want to do potions, alchemists want to do potions, they use calfish. Blood Kua is also used in combat uh, to replenish uh, your graveyard super quick. So th there is some fishes that can be used in cooking to supplement your your nourishment uh, deficiencies, yeah. And then you, you have there there must be plenty of undiscovered value on a lot of the fishes right now in the game. For example, blue squid is completely useless right now. Nobody fish for it. But at some point in the future, we are going to have a, a die system. And this is where this is gonna be a main component of the many of the dice you need to do. Like some colors, if not uh, nearly all of them, are gonna need uh, um, byproducts of the, the fish. And then you have uh, others like Pond Viper or Lesser Talhassan Snake that are gonna be using poisons. That uh, they are not destined in the game, but they are gonna be very useful. <coughs> Top of that, right now, trinkets are super expensive and you can actually fish um, silver topaz and silver rubber from the water. So yeah, it may take a while, it would maybe if, if you are not fishing a lot, it may take months to get one. But if you are constantly fishing every, every, every day or, or almost every day, every few weeks you you will most likely see a, 
every two or three weeks you, you will most likely see a, some sort of topaz uh, trinket, if not better. Also, it's super uh, good to do while you are watching a stream, a podcast, some videos on YouTube, some TV show, nearly anything on another device. You can be playing a phone game or whatever you want to do and then fishing on the side. You just need one hand on, on the mouse at all times and just by hitting you can know where, where, when the bite happens, when to pull or let it go because uh, you, you, the sounds of the pulling of the rod are already enough for, for you to interact with the mechanics. So if you you can you can do this on pilot mode. Sometimes I'm doing cardio. I'm I I set up my desk to to standing level. I I'm doing cardio with uh, some machine I have, and, and then I'm I have one hand on the mouse, and if I listen to the to the bait, I I, re, I start reeling. So yeah, it's, if you have two monitors, it's, it's super OP to be watching your, your favorite streamer or something and, <laughs> and, and yeah, or just lurking. And in the meantime, you're fishing, you're doing something with your time, worth your while. Like, it, I think it's super good of, of, on, on, the, on those cases, you know? Okay, now let's start with basics. Before I start, with the, I want to say that fishing is a science with plenty of room for discovery and improvement. Um, I can be misinterpreting or getting part, uh, things partially wrong. Uh, I bet there, there are ton for, tons of min, min, minute, deep, yet impactful details, you know, oversights, uh, all this stuff. Because the developers are super quiet and they hate to show you any, nearly anything. So everything I'm, sh I'm sharing you is discovered by me or other players. And yeah, um, you should be always second guessing whatever you're hearing from me or any other person. Because maybe if you second guess uh, what we are feeding you, you might find something we, we did miss, you know? As for the most ba basic stuff, how to interact with the, with the system and menus, Squid really did a, a, a really good video about it. It's five minutes long. I'm gonna also link to that on the video, but I'm, I did ask for permission and he allowed, he allowed, did allow me to, to share the video on my own and do commentary over it. So yeah, let's watch it. Ready to cast, you're gonna do so with your left mouse click. You can hold it down, it's gonna charge like an attack with a bow or a weapon. I'm doing about a three quarter to a full cast here, so I land under that bridge. You can see where the bobber landed. Now once your bobber's in the water, you're gonna get two, two types of hits. You're gonna get a nibble, and you're gonna get a bite. Right there was a nibble. So my pole bent over slightly, but not as much as a bite would. So once I get a bite, you're going to have your pole bend over and you will have also a sound cue. I don't know if my sound cues are working right now, um, but I'm just going to be patient and wait for that bite. So we're just going to keep an eye on the tip of my pole. And I like to find a line like this, as you can see where the tip of my pole is. I like to find a line. So when that pole bends, that's a good visual cue for me to set my hook. Now, when you get a bite, which hopefully I'll get one here in the next minute or so, when you get a bite, you're going to hold down your left mouse click, which you'll see in the bottom right hand corner. I do have a keystroke tracker. There's the bite. So I have a massive fish on this line. So as you can see, I have both my left mouse click, which I use to hook the fish. And then I'm also holding down my right mouse click to release line tension. As you can see, that pole is bending. It has two modes. There's a neutral mode and a fighting mode. It's in neutral fighting. And it'll go back to neutral fighting. So once it's in neutral, you can let off of your right mouse click and start reeling. So I'm going to be reeling, reeling, 
reeling. Reeling, this one's really hard because it's bent over like crazy. This is probably a black whisker fish. Bent over, it's fighting, hold down right click. Let off right click. Reeling, 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 reeling. And as you can see, I'm never letting go of my left mouse click. I'm keeping it down, unless the fish is... No, this is completely right. It's a beautiful tutorial until up until, until, up until this point. But after here you can have a, a little bit of discrepancy because this fish is around 20 kilos because uh, if you measure the band and, uh, and everything it looks like close to 20 kilos but if you are fishing deeper than, than this he's fishing at 20 kilos and only at 500 depth so you're gonna the fish is not gonna have enough time to break your line even if you hold the buttons but if you are fishing at maximum depth the real time is gonna be much longer and it's gonna be much harder so there is a chart here that Dreamlock another fishing member of MANA did that this displays what's going on here so yeah right now he's um, uh, holding the line he's uh, uh, around this bend you know and yeah here more so if you are on shallow water you can still just right click whenever this happens but after this point and um, much more later when you are dealing with sea rakes of 40 kilos or whatever or heavy heavy heater switch you know like you need to let go otherwise you break your line because right click you hold the line but you are still taking damage just way less but the, the, your fishing line is still getting damage and if you are fishing deep you're gonna lose it so yeah it's, it takes a while because when, whenever you let it go you you release both, both uh, left click and right click you you will see the the you are losing real at that point you know but yeah and you need to let it go lose that line and then once the the fish stops pulling then you you gain line back it's a bit annoying and tedious but yeah it's 90 percent of the time you are not gonna need this this sort of information but it's good to know if you are behaving if you are doing like squirrelly says on this video and then you're breaking lines it's, you, it's because you have to let go of, of the fish uh, of the reel if you're fishing something way too big way too deep and you uh, and whenever the fish is pulling you have to let it go it's a tiny bit of discrepancy in the video yeah the rest is su super good it's fighting in which case i add the right mouse click now if you pay attention to your reel you can see that your line will start accruing so you'll know exactly how much further you have to reel that fish in before you've caught that fish. So right now I'm about at 50% reel, and this is a big boy. This is this is a fighter. So we got to be very, very patient and be very focused for when it's fighting. Fighting, not fighting. Now I'm at about 80%. It's probably going to fight one or two more times, I'm guessing. Continuing. Oh, there we go. And it's actually a massive blood kua. Um, so that that is the basics for getting your rod out, getting your line, hook, bait, and depth equipped, casting that out to where you want it, and then hooking your fish, and then reeling that fish in, and getting your reward, which in this case is a massive blood kua. Uh, so I do hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope it's helpful. Um, yeah, and I hope you have an excellent day. Okay, now that you know how to use the interface, let's talk about the rest of the basics. Right now, fishing gear only can be sold by vendors or dropped by players you kill. We cannot craft any of these right now. So you will have to find one of these. There is one of them 
on every single city and there's some new ones on points of interest. All of them but one are the basic one. They sell just a fishing rod, line basic, medium, hooked 0 0.2, 1 and 5. But you have one on jungle camp that sells line strong, hook side 10, 50 and 100. It's only one, but uh, we have been the server has been up so long that nearly all the brokers in the game have this stuff. So it's not like you need to go to to jungle camp. Let's see. Yeah, you see. You will see on Meduli there's a bunch of them. Let's see the cost. They are super expensive here. And nearly everywhere, yeah. On Jungle Camp they are so much cheaper. So maybe worth for you if you are if you think of, of fishing a lot to do one trip with a hundred gold and buy a bunch of them there. Because I think they are 50 silver there. So yeah. The same with the hooks. Yeah, these hooks are also like 20 silver or whatever there. Cheapest are on Bati, Meduli, but they are still... I mean, if you just need one to test, it's a hundred times better to just buy on the broker and save the one hour trip to jungle camp to get them and reach your life and your, your, your goal. Because jungle camp has no guards and um, it's in the middle of the jungle, you need to go through a lot of chomp points, you can be lost. So yeah, I'd say if you want to start fishing and you just want to try, don't bother, just buy off the broker, but if you if you want to take it more seriously, then you will have to go... Oh, can I bring this to the screen? Yeah, you will have to go to jungle camp. Jungle camp is... is here so yeah this is Meduli right now so yeah it may be expensive but it's way better than doing all this to get here and then go back it's crazy so unless you want in bulk just go for whatever is on the broker yeah, so anyway, lame, line basic, it says a thin fishing line for catching small fishes, long length, line medium, a medium fishing line for catching medium fishes, medium length, line strong, a strong fishing line for catching heavy fishes, strong length. This is kind of misleading because right now you can catch every single fish in the game, but, well, there's one we don't know, nobody has been able to fish it yet, so I don't know about that one, but the rest of the fish in the game, you can catch them with every single line, it doesn't matter. It's not like with a strong line you won't be able to catch live fishes, small fishes or whatever. Yeah, you, you can. It's, it's, it looks like it's so much better all around, but I have my doubts because, yeah, you can still catch everything, but maybe with a strong line, they see some fishes can see the line and they are much less likely to to poke. So let's say even if you can still fish every single fish in the game with the three of them, maybe with uh, the the basic one. You have better rates. I, I I haven't tested this completely, but it can be the case, you know. So yeah, but for now, strong line is king. Is the best. Has the most durability. You can use at the same amount of depth. Whenever you're setting the depth, it says it's shorter. Yeah, you have shorter reel, but you can still set the maximum depth whenever you're throwing. So it doesn't really matter unless you are 
this sea fishing like super strong fish and you don't want to run out of reel but if you are fishing super strong fish you want the strong because it has the most hit points if you fish with medium yeah you have more reel to let it go but if you misclick a single split second you're gone your, your line is um, breaks so yeah for now I, I say if you have a strong line use a strong line but yeah like like anything this is a science and I can be completely wrong and basic lane is basic basic lane is much better for ventriosos or whatever and nobody's using it because they they are lazy and they they just use the strong you know but what if this this line has better catch rates or something for some fish okay now on to the hooks you have 0 0.2 1 5 10 50 and 100 and they are every single one of them is useful and every single one of them can be used for multiple things many people don't know is that the bigger hooks have um, a penalty to the success of the nipple so you get overall more nipples with the, the bigger the hook so it's much easier to if you if if you if you're leveling fishing it's so much easier to level with small hooks first because the, if you want to level with a hook size 100 you're going you're gonna only see nibbles all the time i don't know and maybe they also affect the um, the real time a bit not much but maybe they also felt that so yeah overall my go-to strat always is if I know I can get the fish with multiple hooks, I always choose the smallest one that can do the job. Because usually you get them faster and the size is not that different. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of funny because it says to catch very small fishes and it can catch four kilos and stuff like that, you know, it's, it's irrelevant. Like if, if, if the type of fish is on the, on the pool, you can get fat ones, like I believe you can get a shokutas, like a seven kilo guta with with a hook side zero point two stuff like that. So yeah, don't. It's, the tooltip is also deceiving here, but yeah. So also they the the the, the most valuable things they have is to narrow the pool. If you're target farming, it's good because, for example, let's say I want to catch ventriosus with molarium and I'm using hook 5 or 10, doesn't matter. But I'm also getting lake. So if I use hook 0 0.2, now I only get Herbiuscana and, and ventriosus. All the other stuff I was getting with cool size of antenna with uh, that also eight molarium. Uh, they they no long they you cannot catch them with zero point two. So you narrow down the pool of, of fishes so, uh, as much as possible. That's the your your goal with the with the hooks. Okay, no for baits. Baits is a huge undertaking to know them all and discover. I had a list with nearly all of them, if not all, but I have been lazy lately and we had like half a year worth of patch that I haven't kept track of new items getting implemented into the game. So I don't know if anything of the new stuff is useful or not for as baits, I need to test a lot. For baits, um, you can use so many things, like from fish to regions or whatever, like 
basically I like uh, minerals, materials, metals. Uh, the, the thing you need to do, if you have doubts, is just check. How to check if a bait works or not. And you click and drag to the bait and you will see green if it works. Well, not if it works, if you can put uh, the bait and try to, to fish with it. Some baits are, are dead and they don't work. They are the baits. Dead baits. For example, Red Squilla. I have ne never gotten a single nibble with it. I have tried everywhere. I have tried uh, every single depth with every single hook and line uh, every single time. Doesn't matter, never works. Those are the baits. Maybe they work under some circumstances, but at least at least I, I ha, have not figured it out yet. But they, they, maybe they, they still work in some place I, I'm missing. So, yeah, but there's some like Pond Viper here. Um, I believe that cafe has the same problem. Uh, Water Scorpion also has the, the same problem. Either way. So, if you hover them and put them inside, uh, you will see they turn green. Yeah, that works. Pro thumb is it works. Silver coins, gold coins, regions, water obviously. <laughs> obviously, it doesn't work water. But you see, dial doesn't work. You cannot. You see red instead of green. Coop rune doesn't work. Some metas works, others don't. Like. Uh, some silks don't, but for example, blue silk doesn't work, but silk works. Okay, note that we have an understanding, a basic understanding of the baits. Let's go to the next thing in line, the current time. By, by typing slash time, you will see the current time in the server. And this is super helpful for fishing because some fishers uh, literally won't show up unless it's, the, it's their time to show up in the, in the server, server side. These clocks go uh, like, I don't know, five times faster, ten times faster than, than real world. So you have four or five times faster, I don't know. I... Um, it's a few hours, it's a whole day here on the server, so... Anyway, so for example, right now it's uh, three, almost four in the morning. It's sunset, it's already up on us somehow, this early. But fish is like black whisker fish love this time of the day and they're going to catch things so maybe if i do this oh i have no sound okay it's good. let's see if i get a black wizard pages for those yeah for example black whisker fish only shows up from midnight to six in the morning So even if you have the current, the, the right bait, hook, depth, so yeah, everything right, but you're missing the time window, you won't see him uh, ever. So it's an, another thing you have to consider. There is some other fishes that they still show up at multiple time zones, but they are way more active on different ones. So that's also a thing to have in mind. It, it also depends on, on the song. Uh, for example, on Meduli, uh, fish might be more active in in the nights, and but then you go to the side, you can still catch the same fish, but on the nights is way more slow than on Meduli. 
and you and you wonder why. Another thing to have in mind is the weather. Nobody, no, not much, not many people know this, but I think the weather has something to do with the um, capture rates. For example, um, sometimes I have been fishing for, let's say, um, seal rays or sun rays, and I was getting huge streaks, but as soon as it started raining, it went to downhill and my catch rate this diplomat to next to nothing, you know? So yeah, maybe it's just server side um, still, but sometimes you see the rain, sometimes you see why wind and all this stuff. And even if it's not fully implemented yet, it's gonna be fully implemented when in the following patches when we get the elementalism and all this stuff. Oh yeah, this is this look this looks like a whisker fish. Let's see, let's see. You have to be careful when you're doing this on the horse. For example, you won't be able to be pushed back. Um, so it's much safer to do this. Yeah, a whisker fish. You see, we do this last time. It's four uh, in the morning, so we are still within the window. That's why we got. But if I do this, exact same setup, and it's seven in the morning, I will, I will, I will not ever get. Uh, Another, a whisker face. It, is, it only drops on that time window. This one was super smart. You can get like huge ones, 20 kilos and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, horse mechanics are, uh, I, I'm not going to go get a horse, but horse mechanics are so interesting. From top of the horse, you can reach um, different depths because you have a different feel of vision, your vision, you're on top of the horse, you, you, your drop is uh, big, bigger and longer with the same strength, but your real time is it also increases. So unless you really need the horse for protecting, I recommend you to fish without it, maybe next to you so you can store your things, but it increases your real time. So if you're on a safe zone and you, you don't need to reach a bit further or deeper or on a weird angle. Just fish without the horse. What else? What else? Let's see. I had a, a notepad here. Let me check. Oh, yeah. The real time. Okay, about the real time. The, the closer I I throw to my, to my feet, to my current location, the faster I will reel back. You see, I have the, my whole reel here. If I catch something, in, in no time I'm gonna get it back. But if I throw further away, you have the indicate indication. Like, you see, I did use half my, my reel for this cast. So it will take so much longer to reel back. And if I choose a stronger depth, the same. If I if I pick something, um, my, I lose reel. The further away I throw, and the deeper I throw. So if I do three thousand maximum pull, I'm I'm not gonna have any reel, and I'm gonna need to be pulling for minutes, like one or two minutes. Yeah, you see, I did empty the whole reel. If you don't know how to swim, be super careful because uh, every single city that has fishing dogs or whatever has griffers. They will try to shove you into the water, get your hooks and line, whatever fish or trinket you have on you, and then go to the broker and sell for cheap whatever you have on you, your armor set, everything. On one or two throws, they throw you. 
you, you get you drown because you cannot move in the water or whatever. And then they, they pick your shit and run. Um yeah. Later on they make a clean selling on the broker your your stuff. Oh yeah, before I forget. Um Oh yeah, before I forget, only use one line and one hook whenever you're fishing. You can use all the bait you want, because when you're fishing, if you fail and your line snaps, uh, you will lose multiple lines and hooks if something goes wrong. So your best bet is to only use one of each, you split, if you have multiple of them in your inventory, you just split them, then you just use one, it doesn't, nothing happens with the bait, so you can use all you want. For the main types of water you can fish on, you can fish on almost every single body of water in this game. If you, if if you find one that you, you are not able to, you can most likely can report to the game master and request to, for that to be added into the... Because, yeah, you can fish nearly on, on everywhere. There is so little places you cannot fish. I have tried to fish in lava once, but it didn't work at all. That's the only place that it, it didn't make sense to work, but maybe, who knows always try if you see any formal liquid always try to <laughs> to fish there you have um, sea water uh, then you have fresh water on, on rivers and on, on ponds on lakes and then you also have cave water every single one of them has something different like they share a lot of fish in common but they have unique ones to themselves and they are missing some of the since the, the since every single one has unique ones like you are missing some uh, you can also split the uh, the type of water for example if we go to the map this these are lakes these are rivers more lakes. Here we have cave camp. There is a cave water there. We go to Seleno. Around here, there's the Seleno entrance. Seleno cave, yeah. Seleno cave also has cave water. All these have uniqueness to themselves. There's a bunch of new points of interest, but I, uh, I haven't tried on nearly all of them, so who knows, maybe it's something different. And there's the seas are also different. There's the North, Northern Sea, the West Sea, the East Sea. They have a tiny difference. For example, when, when you're fishing for Kel Dragon on the west side of the map, you get the jellyfish, mooncap. If you're fishing, uh, on the east side of the map for the same you don't get jellyfish, you don't get mooncap but you get um, the frogs the brown nurox and if you are fishing for kel dragons on this, this north of Kalkor on the north sea <laughs> you get brown nurox and mooncaps but you don't get kel dragon if you want to kel dragon you need to go to the GK lake um, on the northern sea, you won't see kill dragons, somehow. You get the wars of both wars here and none of the goodies. But yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe the North Sea is bad for kill dragon, but this is super good for other stuff. Um, I believe that the best way, uh, place to fish for kill dragons, for example, is this lake on Canteri that looks like a Talaha's snake. That is a snake, so yeah, it's like the snake river with a snake bait to fish the kelpies, you know. Ah, another important thing that I almost miss. 
to f in uh, some of the fishes. Um, well, I, I can talk about this later, but some of the fishes like Kel Dragon and Blokua, you can f fish for them on salt water, on your death, on your meter. I don't have my rod here, okay. Yeah, you can fish for them on salt water, like at, let's say, 200 or whatever. But you need to be on a place where there is a lot of death. So... Dragon, for example, if you are fishing on a place that the bottom is 3000, you can get Kel Dragons from 100 depth to 1500 depth. From here to, to here. Like half of the depth. But you won't be able to get Kel Dragons on a pond that this 10 meter 10 meters de depth even a half depth be you need some sort of minimum amount of depth on the place for these rare fish May maybe n not all the rare ones but block Pua and anchor dragon for at, for at the very least and maybe Benon cap Benon cap yeah they they need to be on even if you fish them on salt water, you, they need to be on a place that, where you can hit maximum depth or close to it, like as much as possible. The, 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 the deeper the place, the better for for them to be there, the, the more likely they are to be there. Okay, now for leveling fishing and why should you should have fishing. There's only one skill that matters for fishing and it's fishing. Then you have a bunch of there if you want to process all the byproducts you get. Like if you want to butcher, you need the butchery table, all the zoologies related to the fishes you are getting, and all the, uh, and all the material laws related to the scales or, or carapace they have, you know? But if we are talking about fishing, only fishing matters on professional skills. This skill is night and day. It increases your window time of whenever you get a bite. I think it gives you some extra range uh, and casting range, yeah. extra casting range. Um, it increases the durability of your of your lines. Yeah, and increases the chances of, of an evil to become uh, a bait. Like, you need to think like, um, yeah, and you have increased response time, so it, it, you, you have more time to, to take the baits whenever you get them. You need to think about the, the your, 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 your hook like being a, a magnet with 360 degrees, you know, so you will have a bit more ra radius, like you have your magnet and you set your depth and then on the water there, there's things going around you and whenever they get close to your magnet, if you have the right setup, your magnet will pull that thing and you will get a nibble. And yeah, with this the radius of your magnet is bigger, so you get more nibbles. And once you get those nibbles, you have a bigger chance to for them to become a bait instead of a nibble. So, fish, fishing with uh, without fishing, levelet is like being half as as good. You are literally doing half. If you were to be fishing for trinkets, you will get three or four in an hour, while with a hundred fishing you, you will get like six to ten. You know, so if you are fishing for kelp dragons, you are getting half the kelp dragons you are someone else is getting in, in an hour. So it's really important to level fishing. Now on how, how do you level fishing? You get uh, a flat amount per per catch and then a small percentage based 
on, on the weight of the of the catch. So in theory, the bigger the fish you catch, the faster it will be. But bigger fish take much longer to to take the bait and much longer to reel because you are on deeper waters. So if you if you um, have a complete knowledge of the game and where to fish this silk race or sun race or whatever, the fastest way is just go uh, wherever you know they are at the time zone, but because this is a small on a small time windows, this is not a, a 24 hours a day. This only happens a few hours per day with the a perfect line lineup or, or bait. Um, and, um, and hooks and everything. Yeah, as you can see, oh shit! As you can see, you you are getting one after another. This is canceling between seal rays. If you if you don't get something big, you cancel, and then you throw again, and you, you only fish for for rays, and you level crazy fast. But this is not much more faster than the the the, the, the easiest method. And it's way more complex because you need to have a, a lot of knowledge and be ready. Um, be um, like, yeah, it takes little time, but it's only if you know where, when these time windows are happening, you know. And you need to be waiting for those time windows to for this to work. So it's not that OP. It might look broken as fuck, but it's not that that good. The best way, in my opinion, to to level is like this. Okay, let's lower the sound. The best way to level is just go to whatever place you have nearby. Um, pick a, a place where you can. Uh, fish straight at your feet, so the, the real time is the mi minimum amount. Set your 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 depth to 120. Use hook 0 0.2 because since uh, like we talked already before, is the um, the smallest one has the biggest success rate on on nibbles. Um, yeah, you you don't, you don't care at all. Like you. you as you can see, I'm getting three kilos, two kilos, almost four kilos. So yeah, so you get uh, smaller ones also, but you you are also getting beefy ones. So you go there with the, the strongest line you have. It doesn't matter. It can be a medium one because the the real time is so little that the, the uh, not a single fish has enough time to pull enough for you to to prep your line even with zero fishing. So just stay there. I'm at your feet. Uh, some people use f uh, 50, but the real time from 50 and 120 is almost the same. The only difference is like half of your magnet is above water and doing nothing. The ho the treat the, the, the hook like a magnet, you know, with a radius. So you're losing half of your radius. So it's always better to pick something a bit deeper, not much more, but a bit deeper enough for your radi the radius of your hook to be active. If you see, I think I'm getting like 4 catch per minute. This is also super good for leveling, but also super good to get the Grandmaster Fisherman, 10,000 fishes. Like with 4 catches per minute, it's a still crazy amount of hours, I believe it's about 40 hours. But it, it, it is the best way to do it. If you, for example, I have been fishing for more than a thousand hours on this game. I should have the title already, but the title was implemented after I was already done with most of the the fishing and I was just focusing on trinkets. So it's taking me forever. But if by some chance I, I want to do the title, I will just do, will do, just do this for 20 hours and get the, the rest of the fishes I need for the title. Okay, now for the elephant in the room. And the reason uh, 
Sin was perfect a man time again. Nearly everywhere that you get on top of objects that are tied to the water but they are not the rain. Mm, depending on how you aim, you can glitch the depth to the nearly the maximum most of the time. I did report this like before the release when we were on bet in beta. And uh, I, I didn't get any reply. I did report this multiple times. I did report this after the release. They were on ra radio silence. I was avoiding this like the play because I I didn't want to risk my account just in case this was considered exploit. But I saw everyone and everybody and their mother <laughs> doing this everywhere. So I keep pestering them and they told me oh yeah this is a feature yeah so they, they had no way to fix this uh, in a reasonable amount of time or, or in a without huge amount of effort so they choose to nerf every single form of fishing fishing a fish was designed to be way more rewarding in dangerous places that because you can glitch and do this everywhere is no longer dangerous, it's super safe and it would be broken if you could do this and get the amount you, you could get on the most dangerous places in the city so they have to nerf the most dangerous places to compensate because they, they have no way to police this, they have no way to solve this so right now it's a feature of the game, you can have the mind it comes handy if you want to fish for turtles everywhere. Like, uh, if you see a rock, try to throw uh, a rock colliding with the water, try to, try to throw your bait from on, on a few places just in case, you know. On, on pretty shallow depths, uh, you can also uh, get turtles like this. I'm. I hate this, honestly, but. They are not fishing it and they are not policing it, so do whatever you want. Okay, now to farm trinkets. All you need to know is they are on the bottom of the sea. Uh, whatever the maximum depth, uh, there they are. You can also from time to time get them halfway there, but it's heavy unlikely. They don't jump that much. They move around the bottoms of the of the sea. Okay, so now how do we catch them? If you, if you are fishing with a bait that only attack, uh, attracts um, pretty rare stuff that is rarely there, the game is gonna give you the truth is a kana or a herbius from time to time, but most of the time it's gonna be twigs. So yeah, that, those are the, the, the baits you're looking for. The ones that at the bottom of the sea give you next to nothing. So you will have plenty of time for your magnet to attract the, the, the trinkets. Because if you are attracting a trinket, uh, 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 something else, a fish, let's say I throw something that can also get a trinket, but you, can, you also get a lot of fish non-stop. Then your magnet will not be ever enough time close to trinkets for them to take the bite, you know. You will be always uh, reeling back the crappy fish and throwing again. So you want baits that almost never work. In, in the case of trinkets, it depends on, on, on the time, on, on the place, type of water, everything. Everything matters, you know. But there is a basic ones that were nearly everywhere. They are above average, you know. But they are not the best ones. They are just the most common ones. And I recommend you to look for the, the best, the, the one that works the best on your spot. Test every single one. The, the ones that work the best for me lately have been literally nothing on the bait. Just a hook and the line that works. Icor, um, rock oil, coal, 
and what else? There, there are more. Let's talk about scales. You know, this barely works anywhere, so they are super good because you have the most window time to attract um, trinkets. You are ne you are almost never really. If you are really, it's twigs because yeah, twigs are the only way in between you and more trinkets most of the time. For example, on this place I'm fishing right now, on the on this B-roll video I had. At 120 depth with hook 5 um, on rock oil, I can only get canna, twigs, or trinkets. So I already know this place works well with rock oil, so what I do is I do markers. I always try to do this if to, in order to find the same spot. Go to landmarks, for example, yeah. You see that. Um, that width on the, on the on brown kelp, brown short kelp on the ground is my landmark. That's the, my point of reference here. That's the one I use to always get to this spot and always I'm at the same spot. I know work, you know? So I get there. Then I use any sort of, of rule. Like in this case, is the corner of my strong call. And I go down until I see hold uh, air to, gra to gather water. That's a point that I know for a fact that this is gonna be 125 depth or something. So I, I am a little bit up upper than that. 5 to 10 centimeters up is always better. The other way that you can um, uh, fish for trinkets and look for discoveries of, of, of good places is like the following. You, you set a depth that you know is rock bottom on the place and then try to aim a bit further every single time until you get to, to the bottom of the place. You know? And after you have a, a place like this, you set a ruler, a rule, or like some, something to mark the reference. So, for example, I, I, I here I use step horse, HP, HP bar, and I drag, I drag that to the horizon. So that's my head. Uh, if I want to have the camera on the same spot, I, no, I just have to go and line the step horse with the horizon, and I will have always the camera in the same place and I will throw the, the rod at the same place. So that's a good system for discovery because you don't, yeah, you can be just not moving the camera at all while you are doing this, but I rather check everywhere to not get ambush. And so if I want to go back to my point of fishing in the same place, I just just the rod. About the fish, the trinkets. The trinkets, I believe they have a, a bunch of layer systems that interfere with each other and they make your life miserable if you don't know about them. I believe there, there's some sort of negative feedback. The, mo the more fish, the more trinkets you catch, the less likely you are to catch the next one. Then I believe you have. Um, on top of that, uh, let's call that malice, for example. Like, uh, it's like the, the chances of catching trinkets are higher, but the more trinkets you catch in the last few hours, the less likely you are to catch the next one. So, yeah, there's that. And the, on top of that, you have um, a, a limited amount on, on the place you're fishing. But I think he's personal because sometimes we have gone with mana. This is up in there. I, I I cannot confirm not than I. But sometimes we have gone with mana with 20 people and we have gotten like five to ten each in an hour. 
and we were a bunch of people there. So I don't know how it works. I don't think it's personal. I, I, I don't think it's server side. Well, there, there's some sort of server side, like because we were getting less. I was getting less than than on the group when, um, but it's, it was not completely nothing. It was like twenty percent less. So there's there's a, a bunch of system. What you need to know is like. Uh, Trinkets is, um, I don't know why or how, I don't know what happens. Um, when you're fishing Trinkets, you get a lot of front load, uh, the fish is half an hour to an hour, and then it stops, because you have reached your malice, you, you, you have depleted, depleted your personal pool of Trinkets, allocated or something, I don't know, whatever it is. All I know is that even if you're catching a, a lot of for half an hour, the, the rate is gonna be from one every four to five minutes to one every twelve to twelve minutes, uh, and, and uh, before you realize, you are getting four trinkets per hour or less. You know. So, the best thing you can do is fish, try to fish for trinkets, and see what happens. If you get one or two, try to get. If you get one or two quick, try to get like. I don't know, 6 to 7, 8, whatever is within your uh, range, and then stop. Um, because the next hour or the next half an hour is gonna be trash, I'm telling you. Just let it go, go do something else, go fish for different fishes, like go fish for turtles, go fish for uh, sun rays, go fish for kill dragons, whatever you want to fish for. And let it rest. Um, yeah, because um, we are, it, this is still at the, uh, on discovery mode. Like I, I don't know anything for third time, but what we found that works the best is fish for for 40 minutes to an hour, uh, twice per day, like with 10 hours of window time between the the, the two. That's the most optimal. You, you can still fish 24 hours and get way more trinkets, but it's gonna be uh, um, trash uh, redone for time per trinket. Dangerous places overall have a, a little bit higher catch rate also. You, you feel that. You, whenever you go to those places and try, well, sometimes you go and there's nothing, but it's because you have been fishing before going and stuff like that. If you haven't touched the game in a few days and you go there, chances are you're, you're, you're gonna get a fuck ton of things. It's like, I don't know if it's a Mali system or a rest system, but there's something there. If you haven't touched fishing in a few days and you go trinket, farm trinkets, you're gonna get a bunch. At least one or two rows of trinkets. So it's always good to... Yeah, it's something you can do um, every day or, or every other day and get a few rows and see what's happening and if you get nothing good eh, just go do, do another thing don't don't get obsessed with this system unless you want to well you can get obsessed and find <laughs> better stuff to, to achieve and then tell me <laughs> that also works so yeah get obsessed if you want but the, the reduce are not gonna be there, you're gonna be on discovery mode, yeah. But yeah, overall places that that are more dangerous are usually better to try. And places that nobody has touched in days. If, uh, also, um, after a reset, the, there are some places that are much better after just after the reset. If the server reset for whatever reason, Weekly reset or whatever. They do. Try to also fish those days. Before you realize, you will see that oh, I'm getting silver amethyst or, or I'm getting a, a bunch of cobalt amethyst uh, rings or whatever. And one of these is gonna be a, a topaz. I'm telling you, like if you if you fish like two rows of trinkets per day, before you realize, you're gonna fish a, a topaz or maybe something bigger. You know. 
it's not as huge time investment if you if you manage yourself properly. Um, it's a good sort of income. Even the the, the Cooper number is a good because you can roll those for a for a, with a bunch of Cooper flowers and get a rinse worth 200 gold, 400 gold. If if you get three percent, three percent piercing damage. Um, three percent loot luck or whatever, those can drop, and those are they sell for a hundred to a thousand gold. So there's plenty of money to ma be made with uh, fishing for trinkets. Okay, now for what fish to use for every single bait? I'm not gonna spawn feed people. Um, my whole spreadsheet that I took thousands of hours to making, you know. But at least I can share the template. And I can point the direction on where to get all the resources. All the resources uh, on how to catch every single fish in the game are already public. The difference is the, the public ones are not as, as good as a capture rate are uh, the ones I use most of the time but it's, you can still go from there once you know one or two baits that work you you get to know the depth and once you get to know the depth you go you get to know the time and, and you know then you, you start using the same hook and line and, and time and depth but you you switch the bait and then you you, you use the, the same bait but use different hooks and doing all that you can narrow down the the drops a lot and then also also get to a decent catch rate on whatever you're chasing so yeah right now if you really want to know who to catch every single fish in the game you can do that like you can just go to Let's say the fish encyclopedia on on mortal online forums made by Angelo. There you will see <laughs> nearly like you have what almost forty pages of people talking about fishing and how to fish everything. Oh, I'm the biggest bomb viper still. I haven't report any of these biggest catch in a while. Here on this post, you have free the information of Bible on how to catch nearly all the fishes and the rest if not all are also here I think it's really hard about let me check this okay, slash fish yeah you get a reply disclaimer the follow where the following find is around to say area each command will cost channel points. You can learn how to cut tutors, seal rays, sun rays, ventures, skull dragons, quas, vino caps, crystals, lakes. But with fish, he has a lot of them. So, and what I'm trying to say is if you really want to catch something and it's eluding you, you can just ask. You, you have a square Discord also. What the. I will try to give links to everything down below on the, on the on the description of the video. By the way, all the resources I have been using on this video and um, places. Square Nest is beautiful. People here talk about how to catch every single fish, what to do, what to, not to do, where is the best place for things. So yeah, you can use commands on Twitch channels. You can go to the forums, fish encyclopedia. You can go into the the discords about fishing. And yeah, you can ask fishman on the docks. You just interact with people. I, I just don't want to people to come to the, this video and could be paste two thousand hours worth of research on my spreadsheet and then cut it a day, you know. So I will share the template. This is exactly the, the spreadsheet I use, but empty. Oh well, nearly empty. I left some 
very big in formation. Like this is every single fish in the game. And what um, right now on this last part of the video, I'm gonna show you how do I interact with this fish sheet. I, I it was made mostly by me. Some people did help. Um, we used one private one for mana members. We share between each other, and then I have one private one for me. And yeah, this is a completely empty version of the one I use. But if you don't have anything like this, I recommend you to go here, make a copy for yourself, and then start using it. If you if you like fishing, because. This will be a huge time saver. Um, it will be, and uh, yeah, if you have, have problems, uh, having problems uh, getting some any of this, yeah, the, for example, copper fish has never been cut, so nobody knows about this one yet. The the ones on on, on grey are the ones from from San Luca that are not in the game yet, but they will be soon. The rest have been caught, and um, the information is public. You just need to dig on the forums, on the discords, on the Twitch channels, and to other uh, fishermen on the on the docks. Just ask them if you are having trouble. Well, I on this video ha I have shared like plenty of good ones already. So yeah, just just get work for it a little bit, you know. By the way. This place is my stronghold, it's owned by me. And the door is always open, there's a butchery table, there's every workbench. This island is west of Sarduca Bridge, that is Metuli, that is Sarduca Bridge, and you have to cross all the waterfalls. And at the, at the end, on the edge of the map, the fish got away. Stronghold is mine. There's a few mana members that have boxes here, but not much. There's plenty of room. If if any of you guys want to fish here, you're more than welcome. The views are beautiful. You have two differences. You can throw your line from here to there. It's maximum distance, so it takes forever to reel, but you can reel back from the sea. You can use the sea. There's plenty of ways to glitch here, but I, I'm... Most likely don't use them a lot. Um, if if the, the, a huge pro and con at the same time is that the, um, the, these islands are very steep, so the depth increases drastically. So at, at half power, you are already at maximum depth. But it, it's at, at, for beginners, it's super hard to replicate same depths without not knowing what you're doing. So yeah, if you want to always fish on the same spot at the same depth, it's a bit harder here from here to there. But yeah, it can be done. It's perfectly fine once you get used to it. So for this example, I'm going to use my spreadsheet. sheet. I'm gonna use um, strong line, zero point two. And I'm gonna go to 1520 for example. I'm gonna get to here for example. I will show you different places, but this is good enough and it's easy to replicate if you guys want to do it. I, I do it without glitching because I think if you fish on Glitch at uh, place that glitch a lot. The catch rate is underwhelming. There is better place to do it if you do it properly. There's better ca catch rates uh, somewhere else if you look for them. So, but yeah, this is easy for you, for you guys to replicate if you come to here. Fifteen hundred and twenty stone line cosite zero point two ambitious as bait. Do the master volume. 
and let's see what happens. Red Squilla. That's something less likely than usual, but yeah, it's still common for the 0 point to hook. But yeah, we can go ahead and. Yep, see, I did miss one. We can go ahead and this time stop. Yeah, red squilla is more common, but we can go ahead. Current time was. 48. So we go to explicit. We type the the catch was the red the squilla. The line was strong. The hook was 0 0.2. The bait was ventriosus. The depth was 1520. 1245 is location. The fish got away. Size seven twenty seven. Then I will go to fish, I will go to red squilla. say morning works, day works, zero point two works, minimum send seeing the death unknown. Well it's the, the same but let's uh, bottom feeder unlikely because I know fishing at the bottom right now. Whether we don't know yet, there's nothing to. On the species, you have some notes are still untouched. And then I will go to bait. Let's move this here. And we go to the bait ventriosus. To the bait and we got canas. We got herbius. And we got red squilla. Yeah, two kilos could that does that to your rod. Catch good down. Strong. Zero one two. Ventiasus. 3k less two in centimeters and time
finish the debate. We can do the same with Buddha, but it's super common. I, I just don't even want to bother myself right now. I love to do all the research with rare ones. I, I'm fucking tired of Buddhas. <laughs> Water Scorpion Let's go to the log I wanted to iron out a bit more, a few more thoughts and explain a bit more a few things, but um, yeah, the, the video was getting super big. I ran out of space on the hard drive, I lost some footage. Uh, so I then I realized how big the video was getting after I ran out of space and I, I was okay, this is more than enough for now. If people want more, I will plan more but this is a really a good head start into fishing if you have if after watching this you still don't want to fish there's nothing else to do here <laughs> so yeah let me know in the comments down below if anything I, I will I will try to answer to the to the best of my ability on the comments so see ya